the submarine is improving too. Diving deeper, moving faster, becoming ever more difficult to locate and identify. And if we can't find him, all those sophisticated weapons are useless. Detection is the problem. And a new detection system is one of the Navy's answers. IVDS, Independent Variable Depth Sonar, puts the sonar transducer deep underwater with the submarine instead of on the ship's hull. The entire detection system was made possible by development of the hoist. Hydraulically powered, it is capable of launching the fish containing the transducer in any but the most adverse weather and sea conditions. The hoist guides the fish into the water, pays out cable, and positions the fish at a selected depth, then retrieves it when its job is done. Operation and maintenance of the hoist is the subject of this film. But hoist crews should also understand the entire IVDS system and the basic principles of sonar. Normally, the sonar transducer is mounted under a ship's hull in a water-filled dome transparent to sound waves. The transducer is an array of ceramic elements which vibrate when voltage is applied at a frequency of sound. This vibration sets up sound waves which pass through the dome into the sea. The sound waves travel outward for a considerable distance, unless they're diminished by adverse sea conditions or they strike a solid object. When sound waves hit denser material, like a submarine, a small amount of the sound is reflected back toward the sound source. This echo is picked up by the transducer, which becomes a listening device between transmission pulses. The echo is converted from the underwater sound vibrations into electrical energy, which can then be amplified and processed by the sonar receiving system. Under optimum conditions, hull-mounted sonars work well over relatively long distances. However, these sonars are affected by underwater environmental factors, which sometimes limit their ability to detect targets at greater depths. Water temperature is the most important such factor because sound is slowed by the deeper cold water. The bottom of the sonar beam slows. The upper part continues to move fast and the beam bends toward the cooler layers. Temperature variations stabilize beneath a layer called the thermocline. Operating a transducer below the thermocline minimizes bending of sound patterns, which might allow deep submarines to escape detection. Also, variable depth sonars operate below most interference from sea noise, foreign matter, and surface reflection. Still another advantage is that the best depth can be selected as operations and conditions change. For example, ranges may often be greatly extended by utilizing the deep sound channel, where sonar reaches unusual distances with minimum loss from refraction and absorption. Independent variable depth sonar does not replace hull-mounted sonars. It complements them. 